Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems and we're doing an Ask PYS. So here we've got a question from a fellow boater named Casey. Casey asks, Jeff, can you give me a quick how-to on AGM batteries? How are they different than flooded? Can I run them below 50%? Just want to make sure or want to know how to use them optimally, the AGM batteries. Listen, Casey, this is probably one of top five questions that we get at boat shows and trade shows and on our website and YouTube. I mean, the big dilemma we ask ourselves as boaters is why would we spend more money on an AGM battery than a flood battery? Well, first off is that an AGM battery is maintenance free. And so a lot of us buy flooded batteries, we make a promise to ourselves in the battery that we'll take care of it and that we'll be topping off the fluids over time and regularly. But in the end, most of us fail at that. And so the batteries end up dying, the flooded batteries end up dying because we neglect them. And it doesn't matter how many times you took care of your flooded batteries, it doesn't matter that you did it the last 10 times in a row, the first time you forget and you leave the plates be, the battery plates be exposed, uh, you're gonna damage your flooded battery. So that would be one thing is AGM batteries are maintenance free. And AGM, by the way, stands for absorb glass mat battery, okay? So they can be installed sideways, uh, they can't leak, and there is no flooded electrolyte. The electrolyte is in the absorbed glass mat, which is good. Also, AGM batteries don't vent as much, which is another good reason. So if your batteries are installed in your living quarters on the boat, in the cabin, you might wanna consider AGM as a way to sort of reduce all this sort of toxic uh, gassing that happens when batteries get recharged. And the other really nice advantage about an AGM battery, an absorbed glass mat battery over a flooded lead acid battery, is that an AGM battery allows you to have deeper depth of discharge, right, DOD. So a battery, full battery is considered 100%. And when someone says 50% DOD, they mean taking the battery from 100% to 50%. Or if you take your battery for an AGM battery, you could actually go even lower. Some people are gonna bring their AGM batteries all the way to 30% of capacity. So that would be 70% of DOD or 30% of capacity. So AGM batteries provide deeper depth of discharge without affecting battery capacity as it would affect a flooded lead acid battery. In a lot of scenarios nowadays, what we end up doing is maybe an owner has four golf cart batteries. We're gonna swap those four golf cart flooded batteries to four golf cart AGM batteries. And effectively, because we can go deeper on the depth of discharge, you know, not stopping at 50% or 50 DOD, we'll go down all the way to 30% of capacity or 70% DOD, and that's gonna give the owner an extra 20% of usable battery capacity. So going with AGM is a good way to have more batteries not literally, but more battery capacity. And that's why probably 95% of the boaters we end up dealing with are gonna go with not flooded lead acid batteries, but absorb glass mat batteries as a way to increase their battery capacity on their boat. So great question from Casey. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill up one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.